Okay, today, ladies and gents, I'm going to talk about things you may or may not know about the straight line tool and a bit about uh, the line gallery. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is uh, tell you a little bit about the straight line tool. Now, according to Zara's help, the straight line tool was introduced because some users couldn't figure out how to create a straight line, which I think is absolutely ridiculous because if you take the shape editor and you click on one point and you click on another point, you always get a straight line. That being said, um, let's talk about the straight line tool anyway. So straight line tool is uh, great for creating a straight line. You click and you draw and anywhere you hold the button down on the screen, you're going to get a straight line to the point that you, uh, you draw to. I will attempt to not go all over the screen anymore. Uh, and if I continue, uh, if I click somewhere else, then I don't get anything, right? So if I, let me click on this one again. But I can continue to join things up by clicking from the place I want to go to the line that I want to go to. And I can continue the line and get a continuous line that way. Uh, okay. Um, one of the other things you can do is um, you can add arrowheads and arrow ends, I guess I call them. Um, yep, so go ahead and click on one of these to get an arrow head, and I can click on one of these to get an arrow end. Uh, let's try that one. And there you go, I've got the, my arrow head and my arrow end. Now, because this is a 24 pixel uh, um, uh, line, I get very large um, arrow heads and arrow ends, but I can adjust the size of them either larger if I wanted to, or smaller, which I almost always seem to want smaller, uh, by just adjusting the slider or entering in a percentage here. Uh, so I can just grab the slider and move it on down, and I get something much more reasonable uh, as far as arrowhead size for, uh, for my arrowheads and tails. Right, then uh, this button here is for reversing paths, so right now, um, it goes from this way to this way. If I want to change those around and I want this to be the end and this to be the arrowhead, then I can just click this button and that changes the path, right? Changes the direction of the line. Okay, that's pretty much it for the uh, straight line tool itself. Um, if I click on this button right here, that opens up the line gallery. Um, and if I look right here in the line gallery, uh, there are various things that I can do here. There's folders down here, uh, which show um, the arrowheads and tails, uh, dash patterns, which might be uh, helpful if you wanted to, to draw a dashed line. And there's various types. Right, you just click on one and press apply. If you want a solid line, just click on the solid line and press apply again. Um, you can change, uh, let's go back up, uh, Strokes, uh, shapes, and pressure profiles is the same things that uh, uh, are available in uh, on the, the free hand brush tool. Uh, novelty, this is uh, the brushes that come with, uh, with Zara. Uh, natural media are more of brushes that come with, uh, with Zara, but these are uh, um, specific to, uh, they've div divided them up into novelty and, and natural. And then the, uh, the last one, folder up here is new brush strokes. These are any um, brushes that you've created, and I have a few different ones here. If I wanted to click on the one and press apply, then there you go. Uh, now, as you'll notice, the arrowheads don't work with, uh, with um, uh, any of these novelty, um, any brush stroke whatsoever, um, nor do they work with, um, with let me go back to 24 nor do they work with any uh, pressure profiles. Okay, and then the last thing here, let me take off my, my ends, my arrowhead and, uh, and uh, um, arrow tail, and um, let me show you what this is all about. These are the, the line caps. Uh, a butt cap is ends abruptly at the, at the last point. A, uh, Round cap puts a rounded end on the uh, beyond the uh, uh, the last point, and a square cap uh, puts a square end beyond the end of the square point. Okay, um, and then uh, the joins. All right, now I have a rounded join because I 
and I like round caps because the, that, that appeals to me a little bit better, but you can change this to a meter join, which gives you kind of sharp points, or you can do a, a bevel join, which uh, kind of slices off the corners. That's pretty much it for the straight line tool. I hope that was helpful and informative, and we will talk to you again later.